Hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Free Write Friday. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica Lynn Johnson, and I am the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo Studios, which is a company dedicated to uh, the direction and development of one-person plays. Um, I get to work with clients all over the world, Mexico, Canada, New York, Florida, Los Angeles, everywhere. And I'm just uh, so blessed to do the work that I do, which is help people tell their stories from stage, um, both in person and virtually these days. So um, it's a great honor to do what I do. I've been in this field for about 20 years. Um, I'm also on the advisory board for the Los Angeles Women's Theater Festival and on their submission screening panel. Um, I am a blogger for NoHo Arts. I write an article called Soaring Solo, uh, which is all about the path of the solo artist, where I give tips and techniques and tricks and all those things to help you be successful as a solo artist. You can find me on NoHo Arts website and my blog, Soaring Solo, there. Um, and I've also toured with my own solo shows for about 13 years. And um, I have ideas and writing percolating for my third solo show, which I'm excited about to eventually um, bring to the stage again. So that's a little bit about me, um, but I'd love to know about you. So please put in the chat um, where you're tuning in from, where you're at with your solo show journey. Are you in the curiosity or idea phase? Have you started writing? Um, have you, are, are you already touring? Where are you at? in your journey. If you're watching this back on YouTube, you can put that in the comments as well. I would love to know where you're at um, along your solo journey. So um, the mission of Free Write Friday is to really take a look at the um, structure of a solo show and, and look at different um, structures that we can apply as we're writing our solo shows. And if we've already written a solo show, we can kind of look at these structures and see, are we missing anything? Is there something we need more of or less of? those sorts of things. So it's more of a heady experience um, than some of my other offerings like uh, uh, Isolate, Meditate, Create, which is all about meditation and visualization and writing. This is uh, a different kind of writing prompt. Um, and uh, yeah, it's meant to be a safe and supportive space. We won't do Q&A here or share our work here. That's really reserved more for my Saturday morning classes or private coaching. Or you can certainly always email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com if you have a question about anything that we talk about. But it's really more just lecture and then writing. So with that said, please make sure you do have something nearby you to write with. Um, or write on, or if you do better recording yourself and just standing up and recording and improvising, you can do that too. Um, so have a recording device nearby you if you'd rather do that. And the next Free Write Friday, if you wanna go ahead and mark your calendars now, is Friday, October 15th at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, and the whole thing usually takes 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so it's a great way to just keep our creative juices flowing and making um, contributions to our solo show scripts. A um, little bit of housekeeping. If you do have your camera on, um, please don't do anything distracting. Um, and if you need to do something distracting, then turn your camera off. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Let me just make sure. Yes. All right. So Continuing on from where we were last week um, or whenever it was that I did the last Free Write Friday. And don't worry, if you're just joining in for the first time, that's okay too. You can always pop in whenever is convenient and you can always catch up on Free Write Fridays on my YouTube channel, Soaring Solo LLC. So last time we were focusing on Joseph Campbell's story structure, The Hero's Journey, and looking at that structure applied to a solo show. And we looked at the call to adventure. So this week we're focusing on the refusal of the call. So I'm gonna kind of try and break down what that is. It's essentially exactly what it sounds for. It sounds like. So last time when we're talking about the call to adventure, thinking of the hero in your solo show, whether that's you or you're playing a you know a fantasy character, a historical figure. The call to adventure, again, is just when we're called to do something that takes us outside of our comfort zone. It's literally an adventure, um, could be good, bad, or anything in between, but we have to step outside of our comfort zone and, and accept a challenge. So the refusal of the call is when the hero of this journey is saying, no, I do not want to accept that. Here's all the reasons why I'm afraid. Here's my insecurities. Here's the risks involved. The refusal of that adventure, of that call. So I'll give you um, an example of this. And I guess I should say too that 
sometimes in our plays, the hero might say, yes, I'm totally down to take that adventure and, and say yes to the call. But it might be the other characters around the hero who are like, what are you thinking about? Have you assessed the risks? Um, here's all the things that could go wrong. Here, here's where you, you don't um, measure up enough to go on this journey or, or whatever. So the refusal of the call actually might be reflected by some other characters and not the protagonist. That's something to bear in mind. But a lot of times the hero of the journey has their own reasons for refusing the call at first. So using um, Fertile, again, that's um, Heather Dowling's one woman show that we've been referencing. Heather Dowling is a award-winning solo artist and a soaring solo instructor. Um, and her call to adventure, as we talked about last time, uh, or her character Jenny's call to adventure, I should say, was to try to have a family in, a non, in an untraditional way after she was diagnosed with um, PCOS. So she had to figure out, okay, if I wanna have a family, how's that gonna look for me? Because it might not be as simple as I once thought. So one of the first refusals to the call was when her doctor told her about the baby maker who was this acupuncturist um, who was known for getting women pregnant in a kind of outside of the box sort of way. And the character of Jenny, um, was very straight laced, um, very Christian, very, um, yes, just by the rules. So that felt very weird for her. It felt very much outside of her comfort zone to have a bunch of needles put in her to help her get pregnant. She couldn't comprehend that at first. So she refused the call at first. Later in the show, she does go see the baby maker and she does try acupuncture, but that's an example of a refusal of the call. And you'll probably have multiple refusals of the call throughout your solo show as you step through um, different experiences and you're getting and you're transforming it gets it's scary every time there's something new that you have to face and consider changing and do you want to do it and what are the risks involved and again what are the insecurities and the fears so um, that is the refusal of the call so I'm going to give you eight minutes and I just want you to write about and again we don't have to get we're not locking anything in concretely. We're just exploring and we're not sharing it. So be uncensored. But I really want you to think about a time in your life or in the life of the hero in your solo show, whoever that may be, where they were offered a call to adventure. They were offered an opportunity to step outside of their comfort zone and go on some sort of an adventure. And at first they refused that. So maybe in your life, you were offered a job and at first you were saying, no, 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 I'm not equipped for this, or here's all the reasons why I don't want to do it. Maybe you were invited to go on a trip or you felt compelled to go on a trip and you had all these reasons and risks why you didn't think you should, um, or start a relationship, leave a relationship, um, a spiritual quest, something like that. And you decided uh, at that time you were refusing the call. Whatever it is, I want you to think of a time in your life where you, were, you had a call to adventure and at least at first you refused that call. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I am going to give you eight minutes and I will let you know when your time is up. So please just let yourself be uncensored and write about whatever's coming up for you right now.
a little less than a minute left. Okay, great. Please uh, wrap up your writing. And I always encourage you to transcribe what you've written. If you were um, recording yourself or if you were writing on scrap paper in a journal or something, transcribe it into a document on your computer so you can save it somewhere and start to accumulate and collect what I call your mosaic pieces. So um, if you've worked with me at all, you know, I talk about this process, like creating a mosaic. So you just have all these beautiful pieces and over time, you figure out how to organize them and arrange them mm. to create your solo work of art. And um, it comes uh, not usually in a linear way. Usually our shows are revealed to us in a pretty non-linear way. So you never know what's gonna come up for you in these prompts, but just trust it and transcribe it and start collecting your mosaic pieces. Um, you uh, will see also in the chat, I put um, a bunch of announcements, but before I get into that, I'll just kind of wrap up the takeaway um, for today. So just thinking again about the refusal to the call. Um, when we have that in our solo show, especially if we have multiple moments of refusing the call, that really helps build the dramatic tension in our stories, because after all, it is a play and we do want dramatic tension. We do want drama. Um, in order to keep the audience entertained and to really show a full transformation of the hero of the journey of the protagonist. So um, refusing the call allows us to dip into the insecurities and fears of our protagonist and therefore really get to cash in on their transformation by the end of the show and the, the fears they were able to face or conquer or see in a new way. Um, so yeah, those are some good discoveries, hopefully that you made today that you can apply to your show and keep it from being, um, you know, unrelatable or boring. That's what's so great about having the refusal to the call laced throughout the script. Okay. So soaring solo announcements, my next free, um, class, the art of creating the one person play is happening Saturday, October 16th. So you can find that on my website, soaringsolostudios.com under free stuff. Um, or under events and free class. You can find it both places. So that's um, 10 a.m. Pacific, noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern um, virtual class. And once you sign up, you'll get the email with the Zoom link sent to you. And you don't have to have any experience. You can come as you are. I will meet you where you're at. You'll always get a writing prompt in my class. And there's also time at the end to share work that is a little more polished maybe, or that you wrote outside of class that you'd like to present. As long as it's solo theater, we're good to go. Um, if you did ever want to work with me in a more professional capacity, I do one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Um, I also do power pair sessions where it's you and another solo artist and myself. And so you get my eyes, but you also get the eyes of another solo artist, which helps build community support, knowing that you're not alone in the process. Um, and just getting, again, outside eyes on your work, which is so important. And I also have small group coaching sessions, which are six solo artists at a time and me leading that. And that is kind of like a solo artist writer's room. So that's better suited if you have just like a small excerpt that you'd like to show um, and get some feedback on from five other solo artists plus me. Um, or if you wanted to talk logistics or talk about a trajectory for your solo career, that's also a great space for that. Um, and what else? We also have um, the Structuring Your Solo Show Intensive and Creating Captivating Characters Intensive taught by Soaring Solo Instructor Heather Dowling. So I can tell you more about that. Um, but again, just email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com if you want to know more about any of those offerings and no pressure with any of that. Just letting you know it's there if it supports you. Um, we also just launched last night Revealed, which is my new uh, virtual reading series. 
Um, so if you're looking for a meaningful stake to put in the ground for your solo show, just to help it come to fruition and actually manifest it, I'm doing this festival all the way through uh, April of 2022. And um, it's just featuring works in progress readings of solo shows on Zoom and I will host the event and you as the solo artist would read your script. It's just a table reading and whatever stage of development it's in, you have up to 90 minutes to share and then we have about 30 to 45 minutes at the end afterward to talk with the virtual audience and get feedback on your solo script to see what's working, what's not working, what the audience loved, what they were confused about, um, their ideas to continue to improve it. So it's a really great community event. Um, and we can make it as intimate or as large as you'd like that event to be in terms of the turnout of the audience. Um, and thank you to all of you who came to Kevin Neighbors um, reveal last night. It was so wonderful. I think we had about 15 or 16 people on the call and we had such a rich conversation afterward after he, after he read um, Versatile, Too Black, Too Gay, his second one man show. Um, we got a lot of feedback and it was so wonderful for us as a creative team. And I think everybody else really, really enjoyed it as well. It was a wonderful night. So thank you to all of you who came out for that. And again, if you're interested in seeing if Revealed might be a good fit for you or you want more information, just email me and we'll talk about it and see if it makes sense for your trajectory. Um, I said a little bit earlier, I mentioned isolate, meditate, create. So that was an experience that I led all throughout the pandemic where we just meditated and visualized and wrote together. So I have 120 episodes of that on my YouTube channel. I included the link in the chat. Um, that is a great way to get out of your, your head, out of inner critic, out of limited thinking or just mental chatter and write your solo show. So I would encourage you to check it out, try isolate, meditate, create, watch the playback on my YouTube channel and see if that helps you discover your story. Um, and I mentioned also Free Write Friday. The next one is happening October 15th at 2 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Central, and 5 p.m. Eastern. So RSVP for that. And um, right now and throughout the fall, we have Binge Fringe Festival happening at the Santa Monica Playhouse, which is a bunch of free theater. Um, it's being streamed. It's also in person. Visit their website for safety protocols. Um, around the COVID stuff if you did want to go in person. Um, but yeah, that's at the Santa Monica Playhouse. You can also find the information on my website. Um, there's also the NAMBA Festival, which is um, Women's Voices Festival happening at NAMBA, which is in Ventura. So if you happen to be in Ventura or anywhere near around there and you'd like to come, you can. Um, that will also be streaming, I believe, and in person. So the details for that are also on my website under upcoming events or upcoming solo shows under events. And then the revealed virtual series is continuing on. Like I said, every month we are featuring new artists all the way through April. And um, Diana Varco, who I believe is on this call, she is also touring like amazingly all over the place with her show Shattered. So um, you can catch that I think virtually as well. So I think she put the link in the chat to her upcoming performance, but that's also on my website. Um, you can find it there too, if you'd like to see Diana and her fabulous show Shattered. Um, and if you missed any previous Free Write Fridays, I would encourage you to go back and watch them. That's all on my YouTube channel. And I included the link to that in the chat as well. So I'm going to hop off, but I will leave the chat up for a few more minutes in case you're jotting things down. But pretty much everything I said is on SoaringSoloStudios.com as well, if you missed anything. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.